So hi friends, this is Amit and you are watching my channel information and educational video. As you also know, SIP 2 examination of July 26th is done now. So here I am with the complete analysis of today's paper. So here I will try to provide you complete analysis and marks versus percentile as well as the minimum marks required for the advanced examination particularly for the strength of this SIP. So if you are first to my channel, please try to subscribe to the channel so that you will be getting all the update and after getting lots of feedback from the student, I am here to provide you the complete analysis so that you will able to estimate yourself which type of uh, which type of percentile you are going to get based on the mark that you have scored or if your shift is next then you can you can target this type of chapter you should consider because i will provide you the subject wise difficulty level as well as the subject wise important chapter also so first of all i would like to provide you the first section of the strength was that this time they have asked a little bit unique question in the first shift of today examination also there was some unique question that was tricky so you can say Today's examination was one of the toughest exam among all the SIP that has been done for this year of JMS examination and after getting the result you, you will relate this statement more that is the today's examination will be one of the toughest SIP among all the SIP of session 2. So now let's talk about the subject wise detail analysis that is first of all mathematics as you also know mathematics is one of the toughest. So uh, there was a tough question from conic section integration limit and derivative and also there was question from differential equation so these are the tough question. But there was easy question also from mathematical reasoning, statistics, linear inequalities, complex number, sequence series. So these are the important chapter from where they have asked the easy questions. So you can uh, revise these chapters more so that you will able to score more marks. So overall difficulty of math was moderate to difficult. Some students find it very difficult but those students who we are having a little bit more concept they find it moderate time. Because question we are so much lengthy that's why students find it very difficult to solve in the required time. So now let's talk about the physics. So physics was easy to moderate some students said uh, it was very easy but it is not easy because I have also seen because I have got the lots of feedback and most of the strength we are telling like it was moderate some students said it be difficult also but it is not difficult. I can understand your feeling that uh, if you have appeared in this ship you will say that this shift was the toughest like J advanced but it is not the reality and don't take it personally I'm just pointing to some student but most of the student have provided me the right review so after that I am providing you so paper was moderate type there was some unique question that is tricky question in uh, optics as well as in the mechanics part and there was easy question also from a thermodynamic semiconductor communication and modern physics more importantly because modern physics is very important and also current electricity electrostat EMI uh, alternating current so these are the important chapters that you can focus in physics so now I will talk about the chemistry but before that I would like to inform you at the time of counseling process I will be guiding you completely for all the thing that is choice spelling registration document verification decision making everything and it is not only for JOSA counseling but for other counseling other interest exam whatever you are doing this year up to your final admission is done I will be guiding you there is a nominal charge for that so if you want then only try to contact me through Instagram or WhatsApp number available in the description box. So let's continue this video that is for chemistry. So chemistry was easiest as among all the three subjects but some student told me that it was moderate type because there was tough question from organic chemistry particularly but there was easy question also in inorganic chemistry particularly from SPDF block of element coordination compound chemical bonding and periodic table and there was a numerical type question from solid state solution chemical kinetics electrochemistry and surface chemistry so these are the chapter from where in chemistry they have asked the questions so paper was little bit unique so you can say it was moderate and it will have a complete effect on the marks versus percentile that i will talk now so this was all about the complete analysis of all the subject that is physics chemistry math difficulty level as well as the important chapter i have discussed so hope you get this information very useful so now let's talk about the mark versus percentile data particularly for this shift but before that i would like to inform you for shift one that is analysis as well as mark versus percentile data everything i have already provided you will able to check the video in the i button as well as the description box so let's continue this video so here is the marks versus percentile data particularly for this shift that is 26 july shift 2 and for shift 1 i have already provided so please try to check the i button as well as the description box and at the last of this video i will try to provide you the minimum marks required for j advance as well so and for 99.9 to 218 to 222 and i am providing you a range because there will be a little bit variation because i can't predict 100 percent correct but i am providing you the information based on my experience and current year trend you can expect this data will be 100 percent true because the number of question that is a unique question we are more in today's shape that's why you will be getting better percentile at low score as well and also you know for higher marks only those students will get higher marks those are a student have already appeared in phase one those students who have started their preparation after board exam they will not able to do and more a strength in this 
attempt is like those student that is those student have registered for the first time for second attempt so uh, i hope you get my point so let's continue this video for 99.8 to 12 to 18 and for uh 99.6 200 to 205 for 99.4 196 200 for 99 176 to 179 for 98 155 to 157 and for 97 146 150 96 131 133 and for 95 it is 117 to 120 sorry for the mistake it is 117 so now i would like to inform you that i have only provided the safe percentile for an it triple it gfti please try to go to this channel playlist and if you are a pwd candidate please try to go to pwd playlist there you will find lots of information for you so now let's talk about for 93 98 to 100 marks for 90 now 78 to 81 for 85 61 to 64 and for 80 52 to 55 and for 75 46 to uh, 48 and for 70 it is 39 to 42 and for 65 35 to 37 and for uh, 60 uh, percentile 30 to 32 marks and for 50 26 to 28 and for 40 it is 17 to 19 percentile so now again i would like to inform you at the time of counseling process i will be guiding you because counseling is very important that's why i am repeating this this statement again and again because once you do mistake you will lose the two years of hard work even if your parents are ready to pay the fee you are ready to study if you will not take the right decision you may not get the right uh, branch or right college or if you will get anything wrong then you will be regretting later because the output after four years will not be right so for that only i am guiding you completely so you can contact me as i have guided lots of a friend in last three four years so this year also i will be guiding you so now let's talk about expected cut off marks for j advance so for general 68 to 70 and percentile is 86 to 88 that will be fixed depending on the uh, difficulty level of the paper marks will change that is for general it is 68 to 70 for ews 38 to 40 obc 39 to 41 sc 26 27 st 15 to 16 marks and for pwd if you have solved any one question you will be eligible for j advance it is as simple as that so this was all about the 26 sip 2 marks versus percentile data minimum marks to uh, eligible for j advance and also the most important detail analysis subject wise important chapter difficulty level everything i have discussed so hope you find this information very useful for you so please try to subscribe the channel so that you will be getting all the update in future days also and i will also get the support from your side thanks